Dieses Video präsentiert Cyberport, der Apple-autorisierte Händler mit über 10.000 Apple-Produkten und Zubehör. Entdecken Sie Technik und Lifestyle in unserem Online-Shop oder in unseren Stores. Genießen Sie günstige Preise, kompetente Beratung und schnelle Lieferung. Cyberport. We're now updating MacBook Air with the new generation Ivy Bridge. They can get as high as 3.2 gigahertz, up to 512 gigabytes. It's up to twice as fast as before. And we're adding USB 3. And the prices are $9.99 and $10.99 and $11.99 and $14.99. And we're doing a lot of those same updates as well to the MacBook Pro. The third generation core processors can get speeds up to 2.7 gigahertz. We've got a new generation NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M. We're also updating the I.O. USB 3 as well as USB 2 for the same $11.99 and $14.99. And here's the 15 inch, the same prices as before, $17.99 and $21.99. So what's next? The next generation MacBook Pro. It's the most beautiful computer we have ever made. 0.71 inches thin. It weighs just 4.46 pounds. Yes, it is a retina display. It's 15.4 inches across. It is 2,880 pixels by 1,800. 220 pixels per inch. The world's highest resolution notebook display. Quad core i7 processors. 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz memory. The new generation fastest graphics up to seven 768 gigabytes of internal flash storage, up to seven hours of battery life for 30 days of standby. An SD slot, HDMI, USB 3 and USB 2 on both sides, MagSafe 2, two Thunderbolt ports starting at $21.99. We're here to announce Mountain Lion with over 200 new features, iCloud. So when you sign into your new Mac with your Apple ID, we automatically configure all of these applications to work with iCloud. Mail, contacts, calendar, messages, reminders, and notes, documents in the cloud. Access your, and organize your documents. Document libraries available and up to date across all your Macs and all of your iOS devices. We've adopted documents in the cloud on pages, numbers, keynote, preview, text edit. Developers can add the support in their apps as well. A new reminders app. Now we have a great little notes app in Mountain Lion as well. Images and links. The really huge one here is messages. iMessage to the Mac. Send them a message on their, to their phone, via Apple ID, or via other legacy chat services. The images, attachments, up to 100 megs in size, HD video. That's iMessage. Next, notification center. Consistent and elegant system. Banners slide down, and if you ignore them, they just slide out of the way. And with two fingers from the right-hand side of your trackpad, you can slide out and reveal notification center. Alerts are for things that you want to make sure you don't miss. So they come in in the same elegant way, but they stay around until you dismiss them explicitly. Next up, we're bringing dictation to the Mac. Everywhere on your Mac where you can type, you can now talk. And because it's built into the system, it works everywhere, even in third-party applications. That's Dictation. Next is sharing. In Mountain Line, we've made it easier than ever to share right from within the app where you're working. We built sharing in across the system. So if you're in preview, for instance, and you want to share the PDF you're looking at over messages, you can do it. You can post it up sharing over Flickr. Support for sharing services like Twitter is built right into the operating system. So that's sharing. Next is the new Safari, the new unified smart search field. Search suggestions and even matches automatically from your bookmarks and your browsing history. Now, Safari is a feature called iCloud Tabs. You just click the cloud button on your toolbar and you get a list of all of the pages you have open across all of your other devices. Tab view, it lets you use gestures to visually navigate your tabs. Next, Power Nap keeps your Mac up to date while it sleeps. It'll also back itself up to your time capsule. Power Nap automatically refreshes data. Entirely silent, easy on your battery, that's Power Nap. Next, AirPlay mirroring. And finally, Game Center. Cross-platform iOS to Mac. VIPs in mail, Gatekeeper, offline reading list. Some features we're adding for China. We're going to be delivering it to customers next month. It's going to be just $19.99. For upgrades both from Lion and all the way from Snow Leopard, all of your personal Macs. I'm very happy to announce iOS 6. It has more than 200 new features. Let's start with Siri. The first thing that Siri has learned in the last eight months is all about sports. 
What was the score of the last Giants game? The Giants were downed by the Rangers yesterday. The final score was 5-0. to zero. You can also ask about individual players. Buster Posey has a batting average of 290. Next up, restaurants. Find a great place for dinner. I found 15 restaurants. 14 of them are fairly close to you. I've sorted them by rating. Next up, what movies are playing at the Metreon? Okay, I found eight movies at the Metreon. Let's say I want to play a game. I can just ask Siri now. Play Temple Run. And it's just like that. And there's this thing we're calling Eyes Free. The button right on the steering wheel to bring up Siri. Delivering Eyes Free Siri integration in the next 12 months. We're now taking local search which was US only in iOS 5 around the world. For the first time, we're taking Siri beyond the iPhone 4S and we're bringing it to the new iPad. Next, Facebook integration. We're integrating Facebook right in to iOS 6. We're also making it really easy to post to Facebook for many of our apps. We've also integrated it right in with Notification Center. So anywhere you are, just drag your finger down from the top of the screen to reveal Notification Center, and you can tap to post to Facebook, and we've added Twitter right into Notification Center as well. We've also integrated Facebook with Siri, so you can just talk to your phone now to post to Facebook. Now you can like apps and see which apps your friends like. And you can also do that for the iTunes Store with music, TV shows, and movies. And we've taken that same integration and brought it to the Mac. Next are some really nice enhancements to the phone app. There's a new control on the right-hand side of the incoming call, and if you slide that up, you get two new options. You can reply with a message or be reminded to call the person back later. Next up is something we're calling Do Not Disturb. It allows you to tell your phone not to bother you. Push notifications and text messages, they'll still come to your phone. It just won't light up the screen or make a sound to wake you up. Next is FaceTime. When well, iOS 6, we're enabling FaceTime over cellular. Next up is Photo Stream. We're adding shared photo streams. Just choose the photos you'd like to share, choose the friends with whom you'd like to share them, and that's it, you're done. Next are some great enhancements to mail, starting with VIPs. VIP allows you to mark someone whose messages you really want to be notified about. So once you mark someone as a VIP and they, they send you an email, you'll get a notification right in the lock screen of that email the same way you would for a text message. And this last one, we added a fun new animation to pull and refresh your message list. Next up is a brand new app we're calling Passbook. The best way to get all of your passes tickets together in one place. Next, Maps. We're doing all the cartography ourselves. Part of Maps is local search. More than 100 million business listings around the world to make a great local search. We're also building a traffic service. We're using anonymous, real-time crowdsourced data right from our iOS users to keep this traffic fresh and up to date. Also, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Once you find a place you'd like to go, just tap on that quick route button and you're on your way. And of course, we've integrated it with Siri. Now, a really fun feature that we're adding to our maps is something we call flyover. And we've been building up a 3D photographic model of these places. And these are only 10 of the more than 200 new user features in iOS 6. iOS 6 will ship this fall. It'll support the iPhone 3GS and later, the second and third generation iPad, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. Only Apple could make such amazing hardware, software, and services. Thank you very much for coming and joining us.